Hey, what's going on, everybody? I had a little bit of a crash on the old app. I don't know what's going on. So hopefully this is going to work. Where are we? I don't know. Anyone there? Let me know if you guys are there. I'm just hanging out by the pond. Uh, was talking to then the app crash. So let's see how long this one lasts. What's up? Who's that? Oh, uh, what's up, Minecraft Storm? What's up, Angela, Ben, Angels, Luke, Arturo, Massimo, Matt? Joey, Adventures of Michaela. All right, cool. Everyone's on. Good. Yeah, totally, totally ridiculous, man. I started the stream and then it just crapped out on me. But uh, hopefully this one will last longer. We got a lot to talk about today. It's actually a little bit of a mellow week, finally. Uh, the last few lives, I had a lot of people visiting, um, had a lot of family visiting. So I haven't been able to do a lot, but things are calming down and getting back to normal here at the camp. And I'm um, happy that we can just hang out and relax here on this live. Uh, so uh, I think we'll have a good time. So uh, the time uh, in America, Reese M, it is uh, oh, just about 4 o'clock here on the east coast of the United States. Uh, weather's great. Pond is great. I've been uh, throwing up some photos on Instagram today. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, uh, check out Camp Cannon on Instagram. Uh, a lot of fun uh, photos. I was wandering around the backyard. There's always something interesting going on in the backyard uh, when you just relax, take the time to explore it and see what the animals are doing. Uh, lots going on, it was fun. Uh, so check out some of the photos I threw up on Instagram. Uh, one of the best ways, people are always asking me how to learn about these animals, uh, what can I do to make their lives better? Um, what I would tell you guys out there, and I, I promise I'll get back to questions and stuff, I just wanna get this thought out. Um, what I would suggest to you folks out there is to watch your animals. Uh, they'll teach you a lot. If you provide them with a cool habitat, cool enclosure, uh, they're going to give you a lot of clues as to what they like and what they need in order to survive. And you'll pick up a lot of cool little, uh, well, behaviors, things like that, um, that the animals will show you when they're in captivity. So there's never a dull day uh, out here at Camp Cannon. And uh, I just wanted to share that little bit of information. But right now, let me lean forward and read a little bit what you guys got going on out there. Alleswood, what's the best things to feed baby sulcatas? All right, good question. Uh, in my video, the ultimate sulcata tortoise care guide that's on the channel, you can find out this information. I like to feed baby sulcatas the same foods you feed the adults. What you may want to do is shred it up a little bit easier for them to, to ingest. So that means romaine, collard greens, uh, dandelion greens, yellow squash, uh, shredded carrots, shredded squash. Um, you know, you can also feed a little bit of uh, fruit a little bit, so non-citrus fruits. Uh, watermelon is one of those good fruits to feed because it's a good way to get them hydrated. Uh, the Missouri tortoise diet, Zoo Med tortoise diet, the grassland tortoise diet is good for them. Moisten the pellet, mix it in with the rest of the food and that should get you guys going. Uh, Raul Martinez, I'm gonna make a pond. Hold on, let me scroll back, let me scroll back. I'm gonna make a pond for my turtles, is that fine? Oh yeah, it's very fine. Make a pond for your turtles. And actually that brings us to the next uh, to the next bit of uh, content here for this video. You'll see floating in the pond right there are two ZooMed Pond Turtle Docks. They're extra large and uh, I'm testing them out. ZooMed has always been good to me. Uh, they send me product from time to time to test out and try out and that's just what I'm doing right now. Uh, so good old Ashley uh, sent me some of their product to try out and see how it's going. And let me show it to you right now. We'll do a little bit of a live unboxing. Here it is, man, the ZooMed Large Turtle Dock. So, uh, yeah, man, just got this a couple days ago. Pretty stoked. Um, I'll tell you what, you know, my pond already has a lot of basking areas, um, a lot of driftwood, logs, rocks, things of that nature. But many of us live in apartments, and many of us have larger tortoises that need a place to bask. And sometimes it's difficult to create a basking platform, especially when you're using things like waterland tubs or stock tanks that actually don't even have a ramp. Uh, so that's where this comes in. This is a floating device. It's basically made out of foam, very heavy duty foam that claws can't mess up. And it is anchored by a little, I'll, I'll just open it. Why don't we just open it and check it out. So I'll show you everything that this little dock comes with all right comes with cardboard but it comes like this oh yeah here we go so this is 
what it comes with, everybody. It's a floating dock, and attached to that is a string that you can shorten if you need to. But it's uh, got this bag here, and you fill this bag up with rocks or substrate or anything like that. And uh, basically, this floats at the surface. It's got a heavy-duty ring here, and it holds it in place as it floats on the surface. Surface, rather. And two fairly medium to large-sized tortoises, excuse me, turtles, will climb up on this. It has a faux rock finish, so it kind of looks cool there. And uh, basically, there you go. So if you have a stock tub or something like that, a large aquarium, something that you want to keep the water level high, but you don't have a basking platform, this is your solution. Um, but remember, if you do have two of the opposite sexes, uh, you're going to need a land area because they're more than likely going to breed and lay eggs. But if you have like a bunch of turtles, smaller turtles in a large stock tub, one or two of these per stock tub is going to be a really cool way to give them a haul out basking area. So that's pretty cool. And I'll go ahead and show you the one in the pond. We'll come on over and I'll flip this so you guys can see what I did. I actually, I actually tied two of them together. So here they are floating in the pond. And uh, so far it's good. Now, of course, I scared the turtles off of them. But the red bellies were getting on there. It was going good. Uh, Daniel, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, buddy. I'm just talking to everyone right now a little bit about the ZooMed uh, Pond Turtle Basking Platform. Uh, so it's pretty neat, man. So I was stoked on that. And uh, it was really nice that they uh, went ahead and sent that to me. Um, and we're going to test it out and see how well it does. I'm sure it'll do fine because their smaller docks have done well for me in the past. And like I said, if you live in an apartment or if you have stock tubs or something like that, then I would highly recommend looking into this as a potential uh, basking haul-out area for your animals. So there you go. Uh, in the meantime, let's switch gears. Say hello to some people. Uh, what's up, Marit? Thanks. From Norway, thank you. Let's pop down here and visit with... Hey, it's Lola, everybody. So uh, what I've done is usually I, I bring good old guapo out, but I thought, you know, I got a lot of comments saying I'm not taking care of the girls. I'm spoiling the boys. So I brought Lola out here today and she is loving it. She's been out here for about three hours. We are hanging out together. She's such a love bug, man. This animal is super duper friendly. She's been eating all the weeds growing up in the rocks and stuff like that. Between the rocks here, you can see some of the weeds behind her. And uh, she's doing good. What's up, Caleb from Tampa, Florida? Uh, so check it out. She's just been wandering about. Let's move over here and uh, maybe I'll get her to just kind of hang out with me today. Hang tight, everybody. I'm going to go grab Lola. Since Lola is a very, a very nice girl, maybe she'll sit and we can hang out together while I answer questions here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pretty rad. So she's pretty cool, man. This lizard I've had as, as well as Guapo since 2004 when I first moved to uh, South Florida from Las Vegas, and uh, she's great. Uh, really, really sweet girl. I've never had any issues with these animals. Uh, knock on wood, I've been very fortunate. They've lived in their enclosure since 2004. That's in not entirely true. They did actually used to live in a smaller cage, but only for a few months until I could get them big enough to where they couldn't fit through the inch by half vinyl coating uh, that I have that, that is the screen mesh for the uh, enclosure that they've been in now for 14 years, or it'll be 14 years uh, this August. So I got them uh, from Doug Beard, who is a cyclora breeder, and I got these animals in August of 2004 at the Daytona Reptile Expo. Love Cuban iguanas. They are, in my opinion, my favorite. I think they're great. Uh, and Lola, look at this, guys. She's just hanging out here, just uh, enjoying the thing. Let's see, we got some questions. Kenan, are you planning on making a bigger enclosure for Buttercup? Love snakes, think it would be great if I could. Yes, I didn't finish reading it, but yes. Um, look, man, we've got, I know I keep teasing it, um, but Kyle and I are working on something together um, that is gonna be huge. It's, it's huge for me. Uh, it's gonna be big for you guys. Um, it's big for Kyle. And mo most importantly, it's going to be amazing for some of the animals that live here at my camp, some of Kyle's animals, and then some new animals that we'll be introducing to all of you in uh, probably the coming year. Uh, so I think it'll be really exciting. Um, you guys can go ahead and guess what it is. 
Um, you know Kyle and I are buddies and we have a lot on a lot of ideas but we're going to really start to work towards the goal of proper conservation um, and uh, education for these animals. Um, guys, I can't thank you enough for all the support on this channel. We've been hitting a growth spurt and I'm very excited about that. Um, uh, Kyle has noticed that. Uh, he's really excited about it. You know, Kyle is basically the third member of our band here. It's Tom, myself, and Kyle. And, um, you know, we really uh, have a lot of fun with him. And so uh, YouTube has been opening doors for Camp Kennan. And it's really about you guys finding us and spreading the word because we're about to take things to another level. And I'm so excited because some dreams are going to be realized. And if we have our way, we're going to be helping people learn about these animals. We're also going to be, more importantly, helping zoos and helping other animals. So hang in there, guys. I'll have an official announcement pretty soon. Give me a couple months. There's a lot of legal work that has to go into this kind of thing. But I promise it's going to be huge. Or as President Trump would say, huge. It's going to be huge. Uh, huge? I think it's huge. I don't know. Either way, I love it. But uh, this lizard's amazing. Let's answer some questions because they've been flying all over the place. Uh, let's see. Kiss him. Ty OMG. It's a girl. And I have no problem kissing a lizard. Uh, let's see. I love that you're helping. I can't see that one too quick. Is Kyle going to have his own channel? Uh, no, I don't think Kyle's going to have his own channel. Um, Kyle's got so much on his plate uh, that, you know, he really doesn't have time to do his own channel. But then again, I don't know. You never know. Kyle may do his own channel. Um, but Kyle is a big part of our channel. So he'll be popping up here. As a matter of fact, I'm filming tomorrow with Kyle. We have to do something exciting with Crocodilians. Uh, so I think you guys will like that. If all goes well, you'll see that video on Sunday. So look out because we're going to be doing something fun with some of his crocs. I don't know if it's fun. Something necessary with his crocodiles tomorrow. So I'll film that tomorrow. We'll put it up on Sunday. Uh, lots happening though, man. For those of you who may have found my channel through Paul Cafaro, thanks for coming over. Want to say thank you very much. Paul and I are becoming good buddies. I uh, like helping Paul out. He's got a lot of energy. He's so enthusiastic. She's going down. There she is. Uh, <laughs> there she is. She thought she was going down, but she's actually just looking at you folks. Maybe she'll answer some questions. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so Paul Kafaro, really love him. He's learning a lot and uh, pretty exciting. Also, uh, some of you have been mentioning about the king of DIY, Joey. Uh, Joey and I have actually been in touch now. So I'm excited about that. I think Joey and I can have a lot of fun together, and we're going to try and get Joey down here to South Florida this summer. So uh, let's hope that all works out and our schedules can link up. So it'll be really fun to have uh, Joey from, uh, you know, King of DIY come on down and experience the camp, and we're going to bring him on a few adventures. That's for sure. We've got shark adventures, croc adventures, tortoise adventures, plus a few fish-related adventures that I think he'd really dig about. Uh, let's read some of your comments. Uh, Pet Lover 713, 713. Uh, came over from Brian Barchick's channel. Awesome. Thank you so much. I love Brian. Uh, Brian's been very generous to me and my channel and uh, really wanted to give him a shout out. We had a great time with him. So glad we found the Fly River Turtle. Uh, so much has been going on in the last few months uh, that it's just been insane. So if you're from uh, Brian's channel or Paul's channel, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Stars Reverie. What do I think about Brian sneaking Crocs into Burma into playlists when it was banned? Not a fan of that kind of rule breaking myself. Hey, listen, you know what? That's not something that I would do. Um, I was actually at Playlist for a few minutes, uh, maybe a couple hours on Friday, and then I split. Um, you know, I just wanted to see what it was all about. Uh, you know, yeah, man, you got to follow the rules. That's my opinion. Uh, Brian can do what he wants. He's a grown man. As long as the animals weren't uh, hurt, they weren't. They weren't stressed out or anything. Uh, so, yeah, I don't like breaking rules. I'm a goody two-shoes in that way. So, uh, not something I would do, but hey, man, there you go. Any idea for outdoor enclosures in areas like New Mexico for rock iguanas? Yeah, man, really sunny area. Uh, make sure that there's a heated hide because it gets cool uh, in the wintertime in New Mexico. Uh, not much different than my friends down there in Phoenix. Uh, I would have fresh water available at all times. You know, you are in a high desert out there, uh, so make sure they have some uh, water, a little shade to get out of, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, what's up from India? Amit, 
Uh, Kumar, nice, thank you. Love right back to you, man. Want to get to India, but unfortunately, India doesn't seem like it wants me. So I got to keep trying to get over there. We are having just a whole heck of a lot of trouble uh, getting over to India. Uh, Slinky is about four and a half years old, Hunter, uh, and he's doing really well. Uh, what else do we got? Yo, San Diego, William Anderson, what's up? Been down to Carlsbad, been down to the Gaslight District, uh, been, of course, to the San Diego Zoo, been uh, shout out to my friend Brett Baldwin, reptile keeper at the San Diego Zoo. So uh, great place. And if you ever get a behind the scenes tour of the zoo and the reptile uh, portion of the zoo, the reptile house, it'll blow you away. They've got Tuatara. They've got Fijian iguanas. It's incredible. So awesome, man. Uh, hey, so let's see what else I've got. Hey, where'd she go, by the way? Oh, here she is. She's just hanging out behind me, everyone. Uh, there she goes. She's going to go off and explore. But hey, let's go check out what else happened this week. So the live shows are fun because I can kind of fill you guys in on what's happening during the week um, and some new arrivals here to camp. So that's what I'm going to do. Here again is my little makeshift turtle nursery. I built this in about a half hour. And the snake necks are doing awesome. But guess what? The snake necks are not all that are in here any longer. So I'm going to gently lift this because they are fast. Oh, boy. Here we go. And I'll show you who else has come out. How about it, everybody? Baby pink belly side necks. We got three of them. This one still has most of its umbilical cord here, or excuse me, yolk sac umbilicus. So here are baby, little tiny baby side neck turtles, pink belly side necks. How awesome. I got three. Uh, there are the snake necks. There's another little side neck in there. Let's pull that one out. Let's get this little booger. Oh, the weather's been good. It's been warm. Look at that. These guys hatched out literally a few days ago. Uh, so it's cool. Bye, Judy Palenko. See you later. So we got some uh, baby baby pink bellies. Very, very cool. Leopard Gecko 5. Am I going to do more swimming with videos? Yes. Waiting on Kyle's new pool to be done, should be done sometime in the summer. And believe me, we are going to blow you away with what we've got in store. Uh, you're going to love it, man. So there will be more swimming with videos coming up soon. But here they are. How about these little guys? Uh, I wonder if the adults are anywhere. Yeah, there's some adults swimming about. Here's one right here. So you can kind of see just the... Oh, don't be shy. You can see just the difference in sizes, huh? It's really awesome, man. I don't know. Guys, another thing. You know what's funny? is I was, um, I actually lost my old iPhone 10. I was filming underwater at Paul Cafaro's house uh, to bring you a video about his new turtles that I gave him. And unfortunately, uh, the iPhone 10 isn't as waterproof as I was led to believe. So I lost all that video content, which was a bummer, and lost the phone. Uh, but no worries, I'm on a new phone and uh, the insurance kicked in, so thankfully. Uh, so I won't be doing any more dunking videos until I get my new life proof case, which should be here any, any day now, or it could be today also. I haven't even checked the mailbox. But anyway, look at these two little guys. How awesome is that? So pretty excited that we've got some baby pink belly side necks. All right. Awesome. 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 Uh, 808 Kate. I don't know if any celebrities watch my channel. You guys are more important to me than celebrities. I uh, would prefer to have all you folks watching than one celebrity. Uh, it's a lot of fun to interact with you folks. Uh, we're going to walk inside. I'm going to show you what's going on inside. I do have some sulcata tortoises that I'm offering for sale. We've sold a few. Uh, there are some sulcatas, and as you guys know, with sulcatas, they get big. So let's make sure you live in an area that you can house them outdoors and keep them happy. Uh, so again, I just want to make sure we say that, but here they all are. The sulcatas are doing awesome. So I brought them inside for now. There are some sulcata tortoises. They're doing pretty cool. Uh, really, really stoked. Yeah, I might want to look into that GoPro idea to do a live stream. That would be cool. Um, good idea. Appreciate that. Uh, so I'll look into that. But anyway, here are some of my new sulcata tortoises. But I want to show you yet another little tortoise, excuse me, turtle, that showed up here this week. I love surprises. So in here we have, let's see if I can get it out. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Uh, where are you hiding? Oh my goodness. Sometimes they can hide really, really well, people. Let's see. 
We're just going to look for it together. It's pretty deep, the uh, soil in here. Oh, I found it. Do you guys know what that is? What do you think? You guys know what you're looking at right there? What are you? I found him in the enclosure, which means that the egg hatched in the enclosure. It's a baby. Yeah, Sean, it's a turtle, not an Aldabra, not a tortoise. Yeah, let me just, let me flip it here. Look at that. Maybe that'll help you guys. I'll, I'll tell you what, it was the subject it was the subject of our, uh, our video this Tuesday. Not an Asian box turtle, although it is from Asia. It is what? Come on, guys. It's the China. Oh, Chris, I knew you'd get it. Christopher Supper, my buddy from Long Island, he got it. But it is a baby Chinese box turtle hatched in the ground, and I found it walking around. Super, super cool. Uh, very excited. This one is offered also for sale. I'm going to keep it a little bit, but it will be offered for sale. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of the tortoises and turtles that I keep and breed, I don't really have a lot offered right now. We got the sulcatas, but, um, you know, you can email me at campkennan at gmail.com. I'll send you the current price list or check every Monday on my Facebook page on the Camp Kennan Facebook page, and I'll post what's available for that week. We're gonna start doing that every single Monday. Uh, Farmer V in Las Vegas, what up? I used to live at 9051 Slippery Rock Way uh, out there in uh, Las Vegas, right off Pebble and Las Vegas Boulevard. So how do you like that? Uh, the Asian box turtle babies, the, excuse me, the Chinese box turtles are 350 plus shipping. Shipping is $70. West of the Mississippi, $60 east of the Mississippi. Uh, so there you go. Email me at campcannon at gmail.com if there's any of the tortoises that you guys were interested in. Um, I don't really breed a ton, but uh, that's better because at least you know it's not like I, I have the time to spend with all the animals and really ensure that they're well started and doing good so that you get a happy, healthy animal. Uh, so there you have it. There's a live, everybody. We're hanging out. Let's answer a few more questions. Uh, what would I, what would I, blah, blah, blah. hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys are going fast. What kind of turtles should I keep in my indoor pond? Smaller ones. Reeves turtles are good. Uh, let's see. Reeves turtles, painted turtles, yellow bellies. Depends, man. Sky's, sky's the limit. Pink bellies are great. Uh, debating rather a mono mono or a pink belly uh, snapper. I don't know. I'd say a pink belly snapper. Uh, what else we got? How much for my turtles? Email me at campcannon at gmail.com. Uh, let's talk important stuff. Chris asked a very great question. Chris, I, Chris, what did you ask, Supper? Chris, Supper, hold on. What did I think of Avengers Infinity Wars? Okay, so this is what we're going to talk about right now. I've seen it twice already. I'm a huge nerd, uh, so I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I, I love the stakes. Um, I really enjoyed seeing all those characters meeting up for the first time, how worlds were colliding. So cool. Uh, gotta tell you, Thanos is pretty gnarly. Loved Thanos as a villain uh, because he's, he's multi-layered, man. I liked it. I, I thought he was cool. Um, I kind of have often said, you know, if you think about it, those of us that love animals, tells over and over and over, and we're in a closed system, and entropy happens in a closed system, we're going to wind up exhausting this planet if we don't figure out how to successfully manage our reproduction and our consumption. So I kind of really liked that angle, and I thought he was super cool badass of a dude, you know? So I, I really did like Thanos. I, I, I liked him as a villain. He was, he was definitely, like, interesting, man. Yeah, 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 the moon punch on Iron Man was insane. Uh, what else I thought was cool? I loved Thor. I liked how Thor was doing his thing with Rocket and Groot. I thought that was neat. Um, but it was neat, you know? Uh, I, I enjoyed it uh, in a big way. So I don't know what's going to happen afterwards, man. I mean, what the heck, you know? Uh, I, it was bummer that Spider-Man disintegrated. Um, obviously they're going to have to bring in the time stone, uh, to pull things back and restart the universe. But what I like is maybe they're going to get into alternate universes, right? So as we know, 20th century Fox is about to be purchased by Disney, which means fantastic four and the X-Men as well as Deadpool are all going to be brought into the fold. 
So they may have a cool way to kind of reinvent the Marvel Cinematic Universe with those uh, characters. Um, so that would be insane. If they reboot, if they do an alternate timeline because a schism happens in the next episode where everyone's alive again, but it's a whole new universe. Uh, maybe one without Iron Man and Captain America, or different Iron Man and different Captain America, like a female Iron Man. That could be pretty insane. So I think it'll be nuts. I think it'll be nuts. Um, yes, Ian Stanner. Yeah, we can never kill the planet. You're correct. It's ignorant for us to think, and it's very narcissistic for us to think as a species uh, that we are able to destroy Earth. We can destroy our existence on Earth, but Earth... Uh, it's a self-correcting system, man. That's the bottom line. What people don't realize. It's like, you know, we, we talk about this, that. It's really not the end of Earth. It's the end of us. And I've often said in a very gloom and doom kind of way, hey, listen, if you love animals, pray for us to continue to expand and grow and use up everything. And then, uh, you know, we'll die. And there'll be animals left. And they'll evolve. And it'll be a planet of animals. And we'll be gone. And something else uh, maybe will come up. And maybe human beings and intelligence... Uh, is a mistake and maybe we don't deserve consciousness. Who knows? These are interesting questions that we can pose and save for another time. Anyway, uh, let's read some questions, man. You guys are pretty smart. I want to see what's up. Uh, what's up, Burn, oh, Burn Spoon? Again, you got me. Burn Spoon, come on, man. Burn Spoon, I'm not into drugs. Come on, dude. Gosh. Just kidding. Uh, you can have whatever screen name you want as long as you're not, you know, using. I hope you're not. Heroin's bad, dude. Bad drugs. Uh, is this Scientology channel, Devon Bonnie? No, this has nothing to do with Scientology. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, I haven't mentioned Xenu or uh, Thetans once. Oh, uh, maybe once. Uh, what else? My favorite turtle? Them all. The whole group of Chimonia. Uh, can we please see Rocky the Alligator Snapper? No. Uh, what do I think of dart frogs? I like them. I really do. Uh, I saw them in Costa Rica in the wild. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, no, no drugs, man. Just love spoons. All right, burnt spoon. Very cool, brother. I'm glad to hear that. So we're good. Uh, that's funny, man. Uh, there was a ministry album, uh, and that guy, Al Jurgensen, you know, I loved their music growing up. It's real, you know, intense, biting music. Uh, they had, they always had funny titles to their albums, and there was one album called The Dark Side of the Spoon, and it was about heroin addiction. It's gnarly, dude. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, you have Zoomed filtering your temporary tank. Very cool. Their canister filter works well. I have the large canister filter. It's a power turtle clean filter. It's very good. Uh, wow, I feel like Kenneth seriously just called me out. No, man. I'm not calling you out. Uh... Like he could see right through the screen. That's crazy. I don't know, Anastasia. I don't know if I'm calling you out, pal. Um, I'm just chatting in a loving, friendly way, everybody. Uh, and if you are struggling with any kind of addiction or any kind of uh, mental illness or anything like that, man, you got it. There's help out there, so go find it, man. Um, very important so that you don't just uh, miss all the cool things like that. I'm starting to sound like an after-school special, guys, but it's something I'm passionate about, man. I don't do drugs. I want everyone to be happy and healthy, uh, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you're adults, and there you go, man. But what did you say, Anastasia? Let's see what you got going on there. I think the universe is giving you a message. All right, Anastasia, maybe it is, pal. Who knows? Uh, if I am a conduit for the universe giving you a message, then that's all right. Uh, Jackie, Jackie, I mentioned in another video that I did live with Anthony Furlong, her owner. I uh, sent her back to Anthony a while back. Uh, unfortunately, she did have eggs from another breeding, and she was egg-bound, and he wasn't able to uh, save her. Uh, so Jackie passed away. For those of you who didn't know that, uh, Jackie is not around anymore, which is a bummer. Uh, all right, guys, we are just at 30 minutes right here, everybody. I just want to say what's up. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by on the live show. Uh, again, just a shout-out to our friends at ZooMet. Thanks for sending me uh, the turtle doc. I'm really excited about it. If you guys are interested, go to zoomed.com. Check out the turtle dock. It's their large turtle uh, dock for ponds and large aquariums. Uh, so pretty good little item. Comes in handy for those stock tubs. That is the packaging. 
Uh, I gotta go catch la 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 la. She's eating weed somewhere. Um, and uh, if you were interested in any of the tortoises you saw on this, thanks for subbing, Gavin. Thank you. Um, and if you're interested in any of the uh, tortoises out there uh, that I had here, folks, then please um, check me out at campcan at gmail.com. We have sulcatas, just two, no, 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 maybe one cherry head left, the Asian, uh, the, the Chinese box drone, and so on. And uh, to my friend Anastasia out there, pal, get yourself some help. If you are feeling down, uh, lean on friends. And if your friends are in the same situation as you, uh, go to one of the myriad of uh, public health areas. Uh, there's got to be some place you can go, someone you can talk to. Uh, I don't know what you're going through, but you sounded like you were in some kind of stress. So if everyone that is on here today can give some words of encouragement to Anastasia's out there, maybe going through something tough, let's do it and help somebody out. I've had too many friends uh, go down the wrong path and hurt themselves. So we're not going to have us campers are going to stick together, okay? All right, everybody, thanks so much. Love you all, and uh, I will see you soon on another video. Remember, tomorrow I'm going to be doing some fun stuff with Crocodile Kyle, and uh, therefore we will uh, see you all soon. And uh, this is the way I'm saying goodbye. So long, everybody. Time to go. All right, seriously, that was not as slick as I intended it, but I'll see you later.